The director who had heard the conversation said, that's not a bad idea. Anyway, when my final scene came the director made us do it over five times, once with Alice and twice each with the other two doing the dirty deed. When it was over, the three of them came over to me to say how much they enjoyed pulling up my petticoats and getting a real close-up of the panties. They all seemed to be genuinely excited and they each kissed me on the lips. Alice whispered, if they weren't here, I would pull up your petticoat and grab your panty-covered butt. The director chased them away and came over to me and said, you are really being a big sport about this and I appreciate it. By the way, they are not kidding about getting hot seeing you with your skirt up. Truth to tell, I get excited as well. You have some magic J.E.N. says qua. Somewhat. I asked. Oh, she said, it's French for some indefinable quality, like inherent sex appeal. Anyway, you have it and you will be very hard to replace. I really don't understand. I have no idea of the plot or anything else, but it is a three-act play. I am on the stage for no more than five minutes total and I have absolutely no lines. How can that be such an important role? While it's true that you have no speaking part, you are spoken about a great deal. The character development is such that it would be very hard to find somebody your age to play the part if it was a speaking part. The author cleverly limited your time on stage so as not to spoil the image. She was lucky enough to get you as a volunteer and you were absolutely perfect for the role. She thought that she could get any guy, put a skirt on him, pull it up and get away with it. However, when you so perfectly fit the description of the character even without a speaking part, she is now stuck with you. Just a minute, I said, I told her that I would not do it for more than three weeks. Oh. She thinks that she can find a suitable replacement, but the producer doesn't think she can duplicate your magic, and I agree with him. That made me really nervous. Anyway, opening night came and it was a smash hit. The director made me stay in the dress for the curtain call and, sure enough, Alice pulled up my skirt again to the roar of the audience. She could see that I was annoyed and said, I'm sorry, but the director told me to do it. With that, Audrey the director appeared and sheepishly admitted that she had done so. While maintaining my shtick about how awful it was for me to be dressed like a girl, I had to admit that walking around with that chiffon petticoat enveloping my nylon-covered legs with every step was nothing short of heavenly. It was starting to look like I would be in the play for longer than I had thought.